Hey. Hey, Kevin. Tom, great to see you, man. Good to see you, too. Thanks for uh, this time today. I really appreciate the opportunity to talk with you. Awesome. You couldn't come at a better time. Cool. I've got some great things to share with you today, but uh, first, it's been a little while since uh, we got to talk, so I wanted to sit down and hear a little bit about your business. Fantastic, man. Well, you, you came at a busy time, as you can see out front. Uh, a lot going on, a lot of new requirements, a lot of things that I'm tracking. So, uh, you know, obviously there's a lot going on with uh, reimbursement challenges. There's a lot of things going on with trying to get my patients adherent so we can get them adherent quicker, faster, um, so that they're on good therapy. We're also trying to look at our operational efficiencies on how we can streamline operations. We're trying to do more with less people. So if there's anything in your uh, in your repertoire today that you could share with me that can help me out with these situations, I'd greatly appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, you know, we've got a lot of great products today that can help you drive adherence and improve efficiency with the System One platform, our great lineup of masks, and our Encore Anywhere platform with Sleep Mapper. But I'm here to tell you today that the future is now. We've got some great innovation that's going to build upon all of that and take it even further. Well, let me tell you about the future. I'm happy to share with you the new Dream Family uh, Integrated Sleep Solution from Philips Respironics. All the answers to the challenges we talked about are right here in this little bag. Incredible. There are three key elements to the new platform. The first one is this new mask platform introduced in the new Dreamware line of masks. You can see minimal uh, contact on the face, great visibility, and with the elbow moved to the top of the head, great freedom of movement as well, okay? In addition to that, Sleep Mapper has evolved into the new Dream Mapper application. It provides great uh, ease of use to the new user interface and also enhanced video content to support the new masks and new devices. And as you know, just as before, Sleep Mapper is shown to improve compliance by 22 points. It's fantastic. So you're, just, so you're not just selling me a product, you're selling me a solution, a Absolutely. series of products that all are integrated together in some way. Absolutely. Fantastic. Next is the new Dream Station Path Therapy Platform. And the heart of the therapy platform wow. is the new Dream Station Flow Generator. Yeah, wow is a typical reaction. That's a CPAP? Absolutely. The first thing that most people uh, notice about the new device is the new consumer design. I can tell you several years of research went into uh, nailing this design. We showed people early in the development a lot of different uh, layouts of devices. We looked at tower devices similar to fisher Pekel icons and these slim devices. And unanimously, people told us that the slim devices looked more discreet, less like a medical device, less intimidating, and uh, more bedroom appropriate. In addition, uh, we tried to keep some of the things that people uh, liked about System 1, like the ability to easily start and stop a device from uh, bedside. Yeah. So we have this new on-off therapy bar that people can easily find in the dark. However, they also told us that they wanted the ability to interact with the device from bed, whether they want to adjust their humidification during the night or maybe just check their auto pressure. So you can see that the interface moved from the top, like System 1, to the front of the device with full navigation capability right here. That's incredible. I hear that all the time from my patients. Mm -hmm. Another area that we wanted to improve upon was blower reliability and air filtration. So you might recall with System 1, our air inlet is on the back of the device and we have some simple filters back there. But they do have some challenges. It's relatively easy for people to forget or ignore those filters. In some examples of 50 series, they'd actually have them fall out. And it's very important to maintain that clean air path to make sure that we're uh, supporting the reliability of that blower and make sure we don't have any noise problems that cause complaints that you have to deal with. So what we've done is we've actually enhanced the air inlet. We've moved it to the side of the device. And you can see here, we've got a new filtration system. These new filters fully seal the airway so that even as the air path and the filter may get dirty, no air can get around these sealed framed uh, filters and get into your blower. So we're protecting that expensive flow gen investment. Oh, that's great. Patients never even knew they had a filter port in the back of the device. Yep. And now to make sure that they're taking care of their filters, we have a reminder built into each device. Every 30 days, a little message will pop up reminding patients to check their filters and replace them as directed. Oh, that's great. Okay. The filters uh, have the same useful life as System 1. We have two filters, a disposable ultrafine and a reusable pollen. It's cleanable just like before. Same HICPIC billing codes as before. Okay. That's a long-term investment. I want to make sure that they last as long as they can. It's important. Uh, you'll notice that your device comes with an SD card, just like System 1. 
And next I want to talk about some of the great connectivity options on this uh, new product. We've expanded uh, for flexibility and coverage. So first, every device, every model that we offer comes with integrated Bluetooth inside. So that means even the basic CPAP will provide the ability for patients to connect to uh, Sleep Mapper via a smartphone or a uh, iPad right out of the box. No need for any new Bluetooth accessory module. Okay. Oh, that's great. But in addition to that, we provided even more options. This accessory bay on the side of the device offers two optional uh, modem accessories. You can choose from a new Wi-Fi accessory or a new cellular modem accessory. In Wi-Fi, we're taking advantage of the patient's home network so that we can transmit data for free. That means there's no recurring charge for ongoing data. We can also leverage that to send waveform reports on a daily basis rather than a weekly basis with cellular. That means even uh, closer monitoring of your most complex patients. It's much more efficient than what I'm doing right now. Yeah. And uh, it's very easy for a patient to bring the Wi-Fi home and set it up. It's exactly like setting up their phone or an iPad or a laptop on the home network or even like setting up Netflix on their TV Wi-Fi. That's okay. Fantastic. And uh, we also have the cellular option in the event that they uh, wish to use that as well. But because we have this range of options, we one, get uh, great uh, flexibility to make sure that the technology that we're putting in for connectivity lasts as long as your device. We've seen that uh, certain uh, cellular networks will transition over time and the hardware that used to work may not work in a certain area after a few years. We made sure that our accessories were modular so that connectivity can work as long as the life of this device. The second thing is for uh, cost effectiveness. By uh, adding Wi-Fi to our solution set, we're able to incur some savings that we can share with you and make your uh, monitoring even more cost effective. That's great. I'm looking for ways to save money. Great. But there's more. In addition to the flow generator, we have an all-new humidifier. So the new Dream Station humidifier, again, takes advantage of a lot of the great innovations that we built into System 1 and then takes them and enhances them even further. So one of the things that we heard was tremendously important in System 1 was the ability to manage water from accidentally getting from the humidifier and back into the flow gen. And again, potentially destroying that flow generator investment. We know that these things take a tumble off the nightstand sometimes or people will accidentally travel with these things with water still in them. So once again, we've designed the water chamber such that there's airspace to capture any water that could flood during our rotation and it'll capture it in the water chamber rather than sending it back to the flow generator. Our competition can't say that. Even in the case that some water is sloshed around, the new device has dry box technology just like System 1 to capture any of that moisture. Oh, well, that's okay. fantastic. It was a huge improvement over the last series. Yep. Another thing that we uh, kept from System 1 was the uh, ability to rotate this turret. That was important to freedom of movement for our patients, so we maintain that again. Now, something that uh, people asked about enhancing. If you think about the System 1 water chamber, it's a two-piece design. It has a little uh, tricky latch to remove the lid. Some people say it's not that intuitive the first time around. And then it has a lot of ribs in the design to maintain the seal of that device. And those ribs make uh, for places to capture dirt difficult to clean. So we wanted to totally change the ease of use of managing the water chamber. Sure. So you can see on the new design, I simply pull the latch and lift. Now we have the new one-piece water chamber very simple design, no ribs inside, so very easy to hand wash. However, it's also dishwasher safe in the top rack and it's BPA free. And what some customers even told us is that because this as a resupply unit is so much smaller than the System 1 product, they may be actual, actually able to save on shipping because they can pack this with another resupply product rather than having to ship it in a separate box. And that shipping savings may be the difference between making or losing money on that resupply. Sure. I mean, this is incredible. I'm, I'm used to dealing with machines that have three parts and patients can't put them back together properly or they break the hinges and this is a, this is a smart design. Couldn't be easier. Now another thing that we've talked about in the past is the desire to simplify some of the complexity in our different uh, parts configurations. You know, with the System 1 platform, we offer a non-heated tube uh, capable humidifier as well as a heated tube capable humidifier. And uh, that works, but it uh, means more parts for you to stock. In the new Dream Station, 
Every humidifier is heated tube capable and every power supply is heated tube capable. Whether you buy the uh, individual flow generator unit or a core pack with a standard hose, you always have the componentry to be able to support adding the heated tube later in the future. Okay. Oh, that's great. You can see the, uh, the new uh, heated tube uh, connectors. Important to note that while the new heated tube uh, is aesthetically designed to match the new device, it is uh, interchangeable with the System 1 device. So you can uh, flip-flop them as you're going through a transition with the new product. Fantastic, okay. fantastic. So once again, just like our uh, connectivity, we've maintained this modularity with the humidifier. We said that was important to uh, align with billing in many of the markets that we deal with. And also, uh, we talked to patients who like to travel, and 50% of them told us when they travel, they leave the humidifier behind and only take the flow gen. You can see with this very compact flow gen, makes it very easy to travel with. A lot of patients told us in our research that they could actually slip this into the luggage they're already carrying and not have to even carry a separate bag for their pack. Oh, that's great. Okay. And even together, the new design is about 20% smaller in volume than System 1 and almost 30% lighter. Okay. Nice. So what do you guys think? That was a lot to give you all at once, but we wanted to show you is things that we've learned over the last six months of previewing the device. Right now, we have to go and talk about solution cells, right? You just don't want to go and take the device and plop it out on the table and regurgitate a bunch of features and benefits. You want to go in, you want to feel confident about the product, and really talk about it as a solution. It's the dream family of products that you're now talking to your customers with. It's the dream station, it's the dream wear mask, it's the dream mapper. Everything in unison as one family, one system of products. So I think that's one thing from a key learning standpoint that you guys can all develop and talk about as you bring Dream uh, Family out to market. The other thing that we wanted to have uh, you guys understand is that we also did some things in regard to the preview. Uh, hopefully you picked up on it. What we did was we did bring out the device, not as one big unit and plop it down on a table. We brought it out very systematically and talked about one side of the device versus the other. Tom brought the blower out and talked about the blower, features and benefits, right? We want to make it about what's important to, the, um, to your audience. Whether it's a DME owner or an RT or a sleep physician, you want to hit on the high points of what's involved with that. So in this case, he brought out the blower. He talked about the features and benefits uh, assigned to the blower. He wanted to enamor the audience to understand there's a lot of great things that's going to help with compliance. There's a lot of great things to help with operational efficiencies. The next thing Tom did was bring out the, um, the humidifier and then talked about the humidifier, talked about the key benefits and features, and talked about some of the dynamics behind it. Again, guys, this is not engineers sitting in a room thinking about a cool device. This is four years of research with thousands of patients and providers helping us get to this point. So I think you should feel confident when you go out there and talk about this product is that there's a lot of validation put behind it. And then lastly, he brought the system together and then talked about it as a system. It's the Encore Anywhere, it's the Dream Mapper, it's our masks. But I think when you can break out the products segment by segment, get the customers enamored with the features and benefits of one segment versus the other, and then bring the system together, it's much more impactful. And it takes away that first customer uh, impression about size, right? If you take something and plop it on a table, they may look at it and compare it to other things that are out there right now. And we don't want to make that uh, a distinction. And we'll talk about in the next segment a little bit more about how to face some of these questions that your customers may have. But hopefully you found that to be very useful and can utilize this as your preview in the Dream family to your target audiences. So Kevin, now that you've seen the new Dream Station platform, I can tell you're excited about it as well, but what questions can I answer for you? Tom, it's, I think it's a great product. I think you guys thought about a lot of different things. Um, I like the features of the, uh, of the blower and the features of the humidifier. I'm glad you didn't take anything away when it came to, uh, to water ingress protection. The one thing, I don't know, when you put the systems together, it looked a little bit uh, bigger than I thought it was going to be. Do you, do you know why it's, uh, why it's larger? Okay. Well, actually, the device is about 20% smaller than System 1 and about 30% lighter. However, the footprint grew slightly so that we could achieve that uh, discrete, low-profile consumer design that patients wanted. But it's important to note that uh, the device, when uh, positioned on the bedside so that uh, a patient can view it from bed, it actually it only occupies this footprint. When you look at some of our uh, competitors' devices, what you have to remember is that when you look at the hose and the power supply coming out of the back of that device, 
it actually occupies as much or more of a table footprint than the new Dream Station device. I, I didn't think about it like that. That's, uh, that's amazing. And it does feel lighter than uh, the System 1 for sure. The other thing I was questioning too is uh, the, the color. Are you going to have other color versions or is this color uh, durable enough to stand uh, patient's, uh, patient use? Yeah. This is the one color for uh, the device. Uh, it was chosen after a lot of research with consumers about what they felt was most appealing and consumer, or should be bedroom appropriate, and what uh, made them feel like it was less of a medical device, more of a consumer device. Um, from a durability standpoint, we had the uh, benefit of having some devices of a similar tone that are already in the market. Think of our Simply Go oxygen concentrators that go outside and out and about and are exposed to sunlight, and even our um, A series ventilators and our Alice systems. And we went to the service center down in Georgia to look at some of those systems like the oxygen concentrators and found that they held up very well not only during assembly, but even after they come back from the field after a year or two. So we feel very confident in the durability of the color. So you guys thought about that, planned for it, and yeah, absolutely. took that into consideration. Um, I guess the other thing too is uh, your competitors, they did something smart. I don't know why you guys didn't, why didn't you put a built-in modem? Why couldn't you make it easy for everybody and just give us one, one device that uh, has everything built into it? Well, um, while that offers a certain level of convenience, it also can offer some significant challenges. So think of um, some of the devices that have built-in accessories today, the uh, televisions that used to come with uh, VHS players in them. Oh, yeah. And then that technology went away and then they had DVD players and once you got to Blu-ray players, they figured out that they better not include, incorporate them anymore because obviously technology changes and it's difficult for one part to keep up with the other part. But in addition, if you ever have an issue with the, uh, the recorder piece of that uh, TV, the whole TV becomes useless. So we wanted to make sure that we provided that flexibility so that the connectivity option that you put inside this device will last as long as the uh, PAP itself, which we know is five or more years in most cases. Uh, I'll tell you there's an example of our competitor in one country where they chose a network technology and they've only been out for nine months and they've had to alert customers that their modems are going to cease working over the next 18 months and they're already working on plans to remedy that. So we want to make sure we never put a customer in that situation where now they're going to have to go out in the field and retrieve devices in order to uh, replace them or swap them. That's great. I, I had nothing better to do the other day, so I was looking up online the Respironics timeline of innovation, and what I did notice is that you guys did bring the smart card technology and SD cards and um, cellular modems, uh, so it's nice to have options and look at as technology grows, uh, we can grow and the patient can grow with those, uh, with those changes. So to have options of Bluetooth on board and Wi-Fi mo uh, modems and cellular technology, I'm sure with those options, you'll try to make it a financial, uh, financial rewarding situation for me. Absolutely, I'm glad that you recognize that. Yes, uh, that wide array of options gives you uh, lower cost options, so you're not locked into having to pay a significant activation fee on 100% of uh, your devices to activate those modems. You can choose the connectivity solutions that are right for each patient, and you pocket the savings. Yeah, I, can, I can definitely see some savings and operational efficiencies there. Well, the same thing as with, the, uh, with the modem, we talked about, um, the design of the humidifier, I mean, your competitors made it very easy and make everything self-contained in one box. You know, are there benefits of having a separate humidifier? Absolutely. For one, a big one is uh, typical U.S. Uh, reimbursements. You know, with Medicare and many private insurers, they have different uh, billing codes for each part of the device. We wanted to make sure that we kept that billing very clean and simple for you. It's uh, more challenging with the Australian competition where they've integrated that uh, water chamber into the device and they don't have a separate serial number for a humidifier for you to bill anymore. Uh, that can be a challenge if you're reissuing devices as used and now you have to bill that as a rental or as a used item at a lower price. No, that's, that's good. That is, that is a good point to have. Um, I, and I like the design uh, for sure. It doesn't look medical looking. It uh, does something that I think patients will definitely choose if it, given that opportunity. Um, I have another quick question here. This will come with an SD card, correct? That's right. Okay. Now, the other thing here is these filters. I'm a little bit worried. I mean, these are proprietary filters to the device. 
Um, I'm used to paying very minimal for my filters right now. I mean, what is this going to cost? What are the benefits of these filters again? And, and you know, I'm used to paying some uh, a nominal price for these. How much? How much are these going to cost relative to what I'm spending now? Okay. Well, again, as we said, air filtration is incredibly important to the performance of the device to make sure that you don't see noise complaints because of contaminants getting the device, or worse, that we completely uh, follow a blower and have to return that several hundred dollar investment that you've made in that blower. So uh, we wanted to make sure that we were able to do a much better job of sealing that air path. Now these uh, new filters, they have the filter media integral with these plastic frames. The plastic frame is what actually provides the seal so that even as they get dirty, nothing can get around them and cause a problem in the device. That adds dimes to the cost of the uh, filter. It's not a significant cost adder. The intent with these uh, filters was not to drive a proprietary solution that would drive a lot of cost in your business. It was really about making sure that we're protecting the big cost and investment that you've made and make sure that this uh, is able to uh, survive for a long time and to avoid any complaint calls that you might get and have the, to deal with they're a nuisance. those getting dirty. Yeah, for sure. Yep. If you can help me cut down those, and, and it makes sense. If we can protect that airway better and have less noise complaints, uh, everything trickles down. Yep. Patient's uh, complaint becomes our complaint, which I guess inevitably becomes your complaint. So anything that could uh, improve uh, reliability and uh, noise, um, I think that, that would be a benefit. I see that you still have two filter design. Yeah. The new design actually uh, provides a lot of the benefits of the System 1 uh, two filter design. So the two filters provide you with a coarse filtration and the reusable pollen filter, and then a finer filtration with the disposable ultrafine filter. Again, they have the same useful life, the same billing codes, replace them on the same frequency. Um, the benefit though is that with two billing codes, you're able to actually bill for two different sets of filters on two different uh, cycles. The reusable filter can be billed to uh, Medicare every six months. Fine filters can be billed uh, every two weeks, six per quarter. So you've got two revenue streams with this device as opposed to competitor devices that don't give you two filters. No, that makes sense. I'm glad you retained that because that is, that is an advantage over the competition, having two sources of uh, reimbursed material. Even though it may cost uh, a couple dimes on the front end, it's going to save us a lot of time and energy on the back end from fielding uh, customer complaints or noise issues um, as they uh, leave these devices unattended and uh, you never know what you're going to find when you get these devices back to what's in the uh, flow the flow path. So uh, no, I applaud the efforts of trying to really protect that and protect that long-term investment for a patient. You know, I did have some questions or concerns, but you were able to talk me off the ledge and uh, you had great points to some of the questions that I had. So it's good that there was some insights to it and some thought was put into some of those issues. But uh, I think it's a, a really sharp product, and I can't wait to, to get in an inventory. Great, Kevin. I'm excited to work with you. So what did you guys think about that segment? Hopefully you saw that, obviously, your customer's not going to love everything about a product. There's not a perfect product out there that customers aren't going to look at and come up with an objection or a comment or a question. What's important to realize is, guys, a lot of thought over years have gone into this research of this product. Again, it's not three guys in a room deciding what would be cool to have. This is thousands of patients, providers, physicians coming up to uh, getting us to this point. So I think if you go into a, a conversation with a customer and feel confident about the due diligence done over the last four years on this product, the more confident you're going to be able to um, understand where customers are coming from, but be able to deflect it a little bit too. So I think uh, it's, it's a whole motivation of being confident, being able to talk about some of those key points or possible objections, size, color, uh, modularity, connectivity, those are things that you're going to have to have the most, uh, most questions about. Um, but feel confident that you're going to be able to address this and um, you know, be confident that this product is going to do well for you.